I thought it might be useful if I tried to record how much heating we're actually getting out of this solar heater unit. Um, and I've also recently just refurbished the unit so that it has a new fan now and I've replaced some nails on the outside with screws to make them a, a bit more solid and a bit easier to access the unit if I ever had to clean it. So here's the fan unit that I've put in. I've just put it into a small um, cardboard box to re to direct the air in the right way. But it's basically just an angled fan, so it sucks air from in there. It's blowing air upwards out of this vent. It just slides into that spot in there. So you can see side view, on the other side. Just to give an idea of how I've mounted the fan. So this fan is supposed to give about 120 meters cubed per hour and I measured it and it was giving around 40 meters cubed per hour so about a third of what the rated fan speed is when it's in this arrangement. You can see in Melbourne the temperature is 15 degrees outside today. Here's my heater running at 60 degrees. So this is what it looks like outside. It's uh, cloudy, mostly just wispy clouds. We've got um, full sun on the solar heating panel. You can see there's some shadows, so it's decent sun. So I guess that gives a good idea of performance, being 16 degrees outside and it's blowing 60 degrees Celsius heat out of the heater. Um, you can see the shadows have actually gone now, so we're on and off with um, how much actual solar radiation we're getting onto this panel. Um, I might just point out that I did actually replace these nails with screws recently so that I could make sure it was nice and tight. I found that the wind blowing on these panels sometimes rattled the screws, the, the nails a bit loose, so with screws it's a bit better. I found a formula for measuring the heat that we're getting from the solar panel. So this is the flow rate in meters cubed per second. I measured that at 0 0.01. We've got some other uh, parameters here that just relate to air. This is the temperature of air coming out of the heater and this is the ambient temperature, so what we're heating the temperature of the air from. So it's heating from 16 degrees up to 60 degrees. And that correspond to 530 watts of heating. So that's when we're generating 60 degrees of temperature from the unit. Um, the maximum I've ever seen is 85 degrees. So that would be about 830 watts as the maximum amount of heating we could ever get out of the unit. And just for reference, the fans run at 12 volts and they use a maximum of 0.3 amps, so that's about 3.6 watts. Although, whenever it's running, we're generating electricity from photovoltaic cells on the house, so that's really electricity from the sun as well.